or former President Trump speaking out about Rudy Giuliani after federal agents raided the former New York City mayor's home. Watch this. Rudy Giuliani is a great patriot. He does these things. He just loves this country. And they raid his apartment. It's like uh, so unfair and such a double. It's like a double standard. Like I don't think anybody's ever seen before. It's very, very unfair. Rudy is a patriot who loves this country. And I don't know what they're looking for, what they're doing. Joining me now to weigh in on this, Mr. Giuliani's son and political advisor, Andrew Giuliani. Uh, Andrew, always great to see you. Now, you told reporters the raid on your father's apartment was a result of the continued politicization of the Justice Department. Was the FBI justified in targeting him? Uh, absolutely not. I would actually say I probably went too soft yesterday. It's not just the politicization of the Justice Department, it's the corruption of the Justice Department. What the president said there is absolutely right. And it's great to hear the 45th president out there defending my father like this. But the truth is, the way that they handled the lies that James Clapper and John Brennan told Congress, just totally not look into it. Yet, they're going to go and raid the personal lawyer to the 45th president of the United States House in order to get privileged information. On top of that, the one device, the one device that had information that would have incriminated somebody was the laptop for Hunter Biden, the server of Hunter Biden's, and the FBI did not want to take it. They said, do not take it. So that's a lesson for anybody. Oh, oh, oh. If anybody's house ever gets raided by the FBI, then just say the laptop is Hunter Biden's and they won't take it. Well, t tell the folks out there why that's important, why the FBI could not take possession of Hunter Biden's laptop. Why? Why, why they couldn't take it? Why wouldn't they take it? That's what I want to know. I mean, they would not take possession of this laptop because the president of the United States, I truly believe, and I mean Joe Biden, is involved in this. That's my belief. Now, I don't know why they didn't take it. They should take it. If there's, if there's incriminating evidence on there, they absolutely should. It was also handed over to the FBI in September of 2020. Yet, we don't have any information on this. There are no leaks about it to the media. So this is just such a miscarriage of justice. It's such a double standard from the left to the right. Yep. And this should concern any American. If you believe in red, white, and blue, then this is not red or blue. This is about all of us. It's about liberty. Yeah. And it's about having a justice department that's independent. Go ahead. Sorry. I got to tell you, I know, I, I know why they didn't take it, because it's evidence then. Then they got to look into it, and they don't want to look into it. They don't want to know what Hunter Biden did, and they don't want to have their hands all dirty. Look, I want to ask, too, were you raided as well in all of this? I was not. I was not raided at all. You know, I never, I'm not a lawyer, and I did not represent the president of the United States. I worked for the president of the United States for four years in the White House and was proud to do it, um, but was not involved in that part. All of my, all my responsibilities were domestic. Uh, for the most part. Okay. Well, I'd be, I, I would be, well, not a good, and not good at my job if I didn't try to ask this. Anything you want, any news you want to break today about anything that's going on in your life? Anything <laughs> you want to say? Just we got, we've got nothing breaking. But as you can see, and as you know, my favorite <laughs> viewers in all of television and Newsmax can see, um, you know, we're traveling in a car right here. We've started this morning at 6.30 in the morning with Rachel Roller on Wake Up America, and we went to Binghamton. We stopped in the Finger Lakes, and now we're actually on our way to Niagara Falls, so we're about a half hour away from there. <laughs> we're meeting great New Yorkers. We're getting some really interesting content, and we've got a couple of interesting prospective donors who we're meeting with tonight as well. So this is just a ball. Um, I'll be making an announcement on whether or not I will or will not jump in the governor's race. But uh, Chris, as soon as I do, mm -hmm. I'd love to come on your show.